After logging into the WordPress dashboard, click Pages. You can do the same for Posts. Click the edit link below a page. Switch the editor to Visual View. Click on a paragraph that you would like to modify the text size for. Choose from the list of styles from the drop-down list, and then click Update when finished. The options that show up in the drop-down are defined by the theme being used. There are ways to override the styles on the website as a whole if you have a good reason to do so. To do this, you can create your own custom CSS. In the past, it was suggested to create a child theme in order to create custom CSS. Version 4.7 of WordPress bundles with a custom CSS tool that allows you to see your changes live and without the need for a child theme. If you are following along pre 4.7, then Jetpack is another native solution. You can install the Jetpack plugin, connect it with your WordPress.com account, and choose the free plan if desired. Now you can turn on custom CSS by first going to Jetpack, then Settings, then Appearance, and make sure that Custom CSS is switched on. Go to the Appearance menu and then click Edit CSS. To continue, you will need to know what CSS classes and IDs to edit the CSS for which are often theme-specific. You can go to the Theme Editor to look at these styles by clicking Appearance and then Editor. You may also use more general selectors such as Body. Look at the code in the video or on the webpage with the written tutorial to see how to edit the font size for the body tag. Essentially, you type body, an open squiggly bracket, font hyphen size, a colon, your desired value, a semicolon, then a closing squiggly bracket. Click Save Style Sheet, then view your website to see the changes. Styles are notoriously cached, so if you do not see any changes, it may be for this reason. In general, pressing Shift plus Control plus R, and possibly Shift plus Command plus R on a Mac, will clear the cache, hopefully allowing you to see your changes.